What's up everybody? Welcome back to Two Pals Play Games. You're here with John and today we will be building a boxcar catwalk in Sanctuary. Now as you'll see I have actually already built it but I wanted to kind of share this with everybody. I've yet to see anything quite like this on YouTube or anything anywhere anyways but I mean I could have just missed it. There's so much fucking shit out there anyway. But uh so Let's just dive right into it. So the first thing I do is I place this uh, pole, or whatever you want to call it, support. Uh, and I line it up with the edge of this thing because this spike right here doesn't let you put any floor or any boxcar or anything on top of it. So it just gets all fucked up. And the Brahmin just fell, so fuck the Brahmin. But yeah, so that's where I line it up with. Now... Doctor said I shot Shut my up, Sheffield. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh, so anyway, so I like to use these ones. What the... Move. So I like to use these boxcars, but they don't snap to the to the poles, which was an issue that was very fucking frustrating. That's why it's actually all built, because I wanted to make sure I could do it, because I was and I was getting so frustrated. But I found a way. So what I first do is I click this bad boy on because this is the only box car. It's the big like the bigger one. Uh it's the only box car that actually snaps onto these things. So what I do is I click it on here like this, right? And then it doesn't really matter which way it goes. Obviously I'm going to have it going the other way when it starts. Oh good, now trash can Carlo wants to come through. So then what I do is I place the oh my god. I place the All right, we're going to have to let her through. Go ahead, bitch. Go away. Move along. Alright. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, now the trash can. Carla finally moved her fat fucking ass out of the way. So we're gonna snap. We snap this boxcar onto the thing. To the pole there, which is not snapping at all for some reason. Okay. And then I pull out another pole. Now, this is not what it's gonna be left like. You can see, like, these things are off. Don't freak out. Everybody calm down. It's going to be fine. I just use this as a gauge for how far apart these two stakes need to be. Now, this is another very annoying thing about this, is that it's not, like, it's too small for the small floor, and it's too large for the normal-sized floor. See? So that was annoying too, but that's an easy fix. So what I did was I just clicked, clipped it to the outside. And I actually did the same thing over here too, but I'm not going to bother showing you that because that's annoying um, and tedious. But I just clipped it to the outside like this, and then I obviously had to go around that little spike that wouldn't uh, let me clip anything to it. So I that's why it's like that, and now I'm going to get kicked out of the note. We're good. We're, everybody be cool. We're, we're going to be fine. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. So, then, I basically just, so these poles, like, you'll see, I took the pole out of here, and here, but all these poles weren't here, obviously, um, and I just clipped the floorboards if it wants to, yep, okay, come on, come on, you fucking piece of shit, let's go, there we go, so I clipped the floorboards all the way out, and I just went out like that, I'm not gonna bother doing that, well, actually, I am, yeah. Just put them all out because I'm going to use these in a second as well, too. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, my. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, then I just went into the warehouse miscellaneous, and I clipped the longer ones to these ones. Um... And then, let's go. I'm trying so hard not to fall off. This is taking so much energy and effort not to fall off, just so you know. And then, okay, voila. So now let's go down, and I'll show you how to, or not how to, but I'll show you what uh, it looks like down here. So then I just took the poles again, clipped them in, made sure that they went all the way to the ground. Like that beautiful but then so here is a funny little thing that I came across which is a really simple fix but so when I clipped the long one in 
you can see it's like floating in the middle of this rock but I can't clip the short one in on top of it it won't let me do that because of the rock so instead of freaking out and panic well not panicking but just having like a mental breakdown for like 20 minutes you can just put the middle the shorter one in the middle instead of on the end and then boom it goes right into the rock and it looks normal so now we'll just have to add the box cars and then I'll show you how to do the corner because it turns at a obviously it doesn't go straight back um, I'll show you how to do that I took that part out so that I could put this in so now see this is the part where I remember earlier when I clipped the when I clipped the um, bigger box car on there it didn't match up this is how we avoid that problem and make it look better anyway we start here and we just clip these on instead and we start with the shorter ones and work our way backwards instead of starting with the long one and working our way forwards because it makes it look a lot better just because you can get those little I I just put the ones on the outside uh, let's just not fall because that would be really awkward if I died in the middle of a let's build I'd probably be a first so okay and then we'll just put the one yep that's the one that I want with the end on it okay and then now you see how it goes right in beautifully like that so I did I put these ones up the same way I put all the other ones up I just brought this back um, it was a bit of a bitch because of this so you had to go like in and around but it ended up working fine so voila now this is the boxcar catwalk well this is part of the boxcar catwalk anyway so I am gonna string this with lights I think I am like st well I mean I am gonna put lights in here but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do exactly it's not, you'll see I got the wall for my settlement in the process of being built but so then I wanted to turn it obviously so that it could go right just into the settlement and I'm gonna have to, and this is just being a bitch for some reason right now. It's really fucking pissing me off. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of the car, I think. There we go. Okay, so. Oh man, alright, I'm just gonna build some stairs real quick. Put those up there. So then, let's hope I can make this jump. Yes, okay. So now, let's see. I put the wall here, but I did have posts there. But the tricky part was getting these things uh, because you can't. I kind of eyeballed it and it really didn't work. So, what you have to do is when you get here and build this, you then have to take the big uh, box car off and. or not off, but you have to put a third one I mean a yeah third big box car off the side here like this if it's gonna be yeah, like this and then that's how you gauge the distance of the poles because you can't you really can't like eyeball it effectively so but now I'm just gonna clip on because I already did that and it doesn't look like it's floating anymore. I'm just gonna clip on the rest of these, and then, boom, yeah, Mama Murphy's in her fucking chair. And I can't get her out, which is annoying me, but I can't, and it's floating, because I used to have a house there, so it's even worse, but, anyway. So here, now this is my personal preference. You can do whatever you want with this, but I don't wanna put a door there, because I don't, honestly trust my settlers like it's the uh, it's post-apocalypse it's the it's a cold cruel world they may not be the most mentally stable people and I don't want to deal with a bunch of dying settlers that's just not good for business so who knows maybe they'll get drunk at the bar and walk off maybe they'll be sad and lonely and kill themselves I don't trust them so I like the concrete slab 
wall on the edge here. I think this looks dope, and I think it looks pretty good from the outside too, but feel free to disagree. As always, if you disagree with me, you will of course be wrong, but you still have that right because America and freedom and shit. Okay, and I'm stuck. Awesome. Perfect. And I'm stuck again. Nope, we're good. Okay. So now, for some of the uh, little finishing touches, let's put a doorway in here. Of some sort. Let's get rid of this now. So we don't really need these. I'm going to leave those up because I'm going to put turrets on that outer wall. Let's just slap on a doorway. And then for the door itself, let's go with that blue one. You know what I'm talking I wish I could put a power door on there, but oh yeah, this one. I think this is good. Okay. Um, and then I don't like the concrete steps, but I do like the warehouse steps. Oh, I got them stuck. I like these ones. A lot of people get annoyed with the fact that the railings clip into the ground as well. I really don't care. I think it looks fine. Couldn't be bothered with caring about like something that mundane. Okay, and now let's throw in some turrets for good measure. Make sure that uh, our settlers are safe. Because theoretically anybody can enter this catwalk, right? So let's make sure that only good people enter it. One right there. You know, put two if I can. No, I can't. I don't think I'll be able to. I could rug glitch them in, but. Who cares? Because once you go in, you're not making it that far. Um, and then, let's see. Clean up here. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Alright, and then I think I'm just going to do spotlights and machine guns on the top here because I don't want to, like. But yeah, so I think it's a cool little idea. It also eliminates the whole issue of randos kind of like uh, walking. Like I feel like you just the attacks will be less frequent, and you won't necessarily need to deal with them as much because the fucking people literally can't like get into your settlement like by the time they get to your settlement they probably already dead plus i just think it looks dope as hell to have a giant fucking train running across like hey look at me i have a train in the air so fuck you that's just kind of the vibe i get And then just line this wall with turrets because that's what you do in the apocalypse. You line shit with turrets. Now am I closing the wall? Because what's better than a bunch of turrets? I'm gonna string those up later. I figure you don't really want to see that anyway. So let's get rid of these floors. Okay, and now let's go down to this end over here. Sorry, I was itching my ear because it was itchy. Fuck you. That's why I was standing there. Alright, now let's throw in a turret right there just for good measure maybe I don't know I'm gonna put in a turret for now but I may make this like a little welcome desk area but for now we're gonna put a turret and then see you can just walk right into the settlement boom beautiful and then like obviously there will be a wall oh I put the wall there I just took it out for the tunnel I should put that back well, I'll wait 
Um, but then, yeah, so I'll do something, like, with the lights here, too, as well. Like, I don't know, maybe just something dingy like that. Or maybe something better, like, maybe like one of these big bad construction boy lights right here or something. I'll we'll have to rug glitch that in as well. Um, who knows? Maybe, like, something more classy, like a wall light or... Maybe have like a string of lights coming down. I don't know. It's like you can do a lot with this, really. I'm also thinking about um, a lot of blue there. Over here, making like a separate, like, kind of axis way for the fucking <laughs> caravans and s travelers and stuff. Like, maybe even taking this wall off and building out farther there and like having a little place for them to go but I also don't want the settlers to not be in the fucking settlement who knows I don't know we'll see what happens anyway so this is the boxcar catwalk let me know what you think uh, as always hit it with a like and a sub you precious ass and yeah basically if you don't like it fuck yourself if you do like it awesome Peace out.